Hello humanity, it's Aquaricus here. We're going through a difficult time right now. It's heavy. Many of us are fearful, anxious, angry, frustrated, inconvenienced, even ill. And all of these emotions are real. You have every right to feel them. I see you, I hear you, and I feel you. I hold space for you. My soul weeps for humanity right now. But I know deeply that we will all overcome this. I have been called to come in here and anchor in the light, to diffuse the fear-mongering, to alleviate the suffering of all humankind. It's completely normal to react to what's going on right now, but fear and anxiety are spreading just as fast as the virus. And fear, anxiety, stress, panic, all wreak havoc on the body and weaken our immune system. When your mind is anxious and you're clenched in fear, you're not allowing healing energy, positive thoughts and emotions to flow freely through your body. It's your dis-ease that makes you more prone to disease. Health is more than just physical. Our overall state of well-being includes our emotional, mental, and spiritual health. While it's good to be aware of the threat, mindful, taking necessary precautions, prepping yourself to do whatever it is you need to do to feel grounded in your sanity, but you shouldn't isolate yourself in fear. Welcome in positive thoughts and emotions while not bypassing the negative ones. Sit with them, work with them, but don't let them consume you. With the power of visualization, you can imagine healing, peace, and sovereignty across the globe. Let's do an affirmative prayer together. So close your eyes, take a deep breath, and repeat after me. I am thankful for my health. I am grateful for my breath, my throat, my lungs, my clear sinuses, my mind, my heart, my body, and my spirit. I welcome in healing energy to radiate through my being. And as I anchor in this light, I shine it in every direction of the world, in every dark corner, to every soul. We are all connected. In unity consciousness, I affirm this as true. And so it is. Thank you. In Science of Mind Teachings, Ernest Holmes states, it is not the reality we must change, it's our mental reaction to it. What type of mental imagery are you pouring into your consciousness right now? Are you trembling in fear? Or are you affirming to yourself 
into the universe that everything's gonna be okay. Fear is a lower frequency and it's an ego-based emotion. While love is the highest frequency and it's a soul-based emotion. A little bit of fear is good because it's connected to our survival and our willpower, our gumption and our motivation to make necessary change in our lives. It's our solar plexus energy, Mars in our chart. Fear helps us get shit done and it's good to be aware of it, but we shouldn't let fear rule us. Just like with ego consciousness or ego awareness is that the goal is not to kill the ego because the ego will never die. The key is to be aware of the ego. When we operate from love, we are in a higher vibrational state. Just like a virus that needs to enter your cell to duplicate itself, don't let the collective fear of society right now enter your psyche. Your consciousness is above it. I know the concerns of this virus aren't just health-based. A lot of us are concerned about our jobs and our finances, making ends meet, all the logistics. But I invite you to entertain the idea that everything is working out best case scenario. Everything that happens, happens for our greatest good. Everything's meant to be. Trust in the process. Everything occurs in divine timing. The silver thread of this virus is that it's a wake up call to humanity. The old paradigm is collapsing. The patriarchal system isn't working. And as unfortunate as it is, this virus needed to happen to catapult us into the new paradigm. And I say that with the utmost love and respect for all of those of you who are being directly affected by this virus, who have uh, loved ones who are at risk or who have even lost loved ones. But this shift that's happening right now is what all of us lightworkers have been talking about New Earth is here, and now is the time to anchor in the light. Every single human on Earth right now knows about the coronavirus. Every single human on Earth is thinking about the coronavirus. Some of us are being consumed by it mentally, and some of us are just stepping back and observing it. And we can either think of it as a common threat or we can think of it as a connecting force because we're all one and we're all shifting into this new paradigm together and we will all overcome this all is well and in love and in light I hold space for all of you and I love you Namaste.